Hi everybody, welcome to Dave and Joe Liberty Stand. Joe, what are we going to talk about? Yes, well, you would ask that question. That's my job, man. Uh, okay, you get paid well. I do. So, is that on low speed? So the only wrong thing you can do is when you do something that... No, that was on... That's higher now. I thought you wanted them higher. No. Okay, go ahead with, with yours. When, when you, you can't hear it, don't worry about it. When you do something that isn't right. The only wrong thing you can do is when you do something you don't think is right. What do you think that means? <clears throat> you do something you don't think is right. You realize well, we're not in a meeting now. We are actually doing a show. Well, my, my first thought with that is... Um, how do we know what's right and wrong? I mean, what is our rule? What is our guide for that? You know, that was my thought. Okay. But that's really separate than what I meant by that. Yeah, well, explain what okay. you're thinking. No matter who you are, uh, if you're religious or not religious, we are all born with a sense of right and wrong. Mm -hmm. right, As a little child, you know that, if you've done something wrong and you've got to try to hide it from that's mom That's biblical. And dad. God put right, that in idea. our hearts. That, that's programmed. Yeah, our mind. Yeah. So if you're are. basically going along to get along because, and you're you're going along with something that you, you know is not right. Yeah. You know, that's well, wrong. That, initially that's, though, I'll say this. We may get that little tug of, oh, I shouldn't be doing this or I shouldn't do this. But then we do it, and it feels good. Right. So we're like, well, I enjoyed that. Do you, you know, know? Do you know why? Like, if you're a, a drug addict or bad alcoholic, or, or speak up, what? <laughs> <laughs> don't know what you mean. Uh, or, okay, maybe you you um, are uh, doing under the table things that you know is wrong. Mm -hmm. but, but hey, there's money in that. You like know, or politicians. What, yeah, psychologists. <laughs> No, I think they're exempt from this. They're, they're, they all work for the devil. But uh, if you're somebody with a conscience that knows what right and wrong is, and well, they doing, had one, and but you're, it's just you, been well, seared. they sold it. They sold that. Um, it, eventually, you crumble down and you get screwed. You get caught, or you yeah. die, die, or something bad happens. You get caught, and I'll insane. tell you, no, I mean, it, depending on what, what I'm, I'm saying, yeah, you're still alive afterwards. Now, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, because so, yeah. you, you you're fooling yourself when you do that. Yeah, you, you know. Oh it's yeah. Wrong. yeah, yeah. And you can only lie to yourself for so long and have so many things be broken around you and other people being hurt by what you're yeah. doing right. before it all breaks down. Yeah. So, well, and again, I think God does say He says He will give us over to our desire. Sure. If we won't listen to our conscience, right? Or if we don't listen to, you know, the the thing, the right and wrong that he's put in our hearts, does it actually he will give us does, over. Does it say give over? Is that yeah. the words? Because I don't mm -hmm. see it that way. I don't see God as going, okay, this guy, you know, Mark. Well, I see, I see him going. We, I gave him free will, and that's what he's choosing, and I'm not gonna. There you, there you go. You can have that. See well, what but but to again, you. Oh. think of the con your the conscience. He's put that in our hearts, and so he has already put that in there. But if we ignore it, right? He he'll that conscience is seared, and he he will give us will he'll just let us go. But but in 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 some ways too, there's discipline in the there's biblical discipline in the church. Let's say. And there is, period. I mean, I'm not saying let's, I'm just saying that's a fact. So what happens though, and the, I think the way God is and the way parents are, you, when you do something wrong, there's a punishment, there's a consequence. Sure. There, it may feel good initially, but then you have that, again, the conscience. There's a price for But it. there's a discipline, there's right. There's a price. And God wants us to turn away from those things and back to him. And that's why there's the things called, is church discipline, right. the hope is the person will repent, ask for forgiveness, turn from that activity, that behavior, whatever, and, you know, come back to God. Right. And, but, you know, again, he, he does get us over, so. Well, you guys, I think that's a show. I think so. I, and I uh, think we got good. our limit, and I'm going to have to straighten him up, so. 
God bless you. Thanks I can so use much. The guide. <laughs> yeah, we all can. Bye, guys.